Let me ask you, how would you characterize your personal success rate? We do outcome studies on all our patients that have surgery. We actually follow them for up to a year and we tabulate that number, their relief of pain. Uh, we actually have scientific forms to do that. And then annually, unfortunately, it's not always on the same date every year, but annually we go over those results. I go over those results, and in fact, I go over those results with the hospital and uh, see what we can do to improve things and what our complications were. Um, Last year, our improvement in back pain uh, with spine surgery was about 75 to 80 percent, uh, which is pretty good when you consider, you know, that uh, there are places where it's less successful. Uh, our relief of leg or arm pain is around the 90th percent uh, success rate. Our infection rate was 1.4 percent. Our neurologic injury rate was less than 1 percent. Uh, spinal fluid uh, uh, leak. Uh, tear was about uh, 7%, uh, which means they had an injury, a tear in the OR, and we fixed it, and no big problems occurred. Um, that's maybe a higher number than others, but that also reflects that, like I said, if you've had previous spine surgery and doing revision spine surgery, those complications can be a little higher. Thank you, Dr. Foster. I appreciate your taking time today to explain some of the procedures you use in spinal surgery and revision spinal surgery. You and your team are truly providing a valuable resource to the community to relieve back pain in your patients. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.